Hey guys, I'm back and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Canon M6 Mark II. Hello. <laughs> Let's cut right to the chase and unbox this. Well, while he's um, unboxing that, um, I'm going to be unboxing this Canon M6 Mark II but I'm going to be creating more videos on this camera as it's got loads of amazing um, specs so I'll be doing a review of it and I'll also be using it to record some of my other latest um, YouTube videos in the future. Wow, that was really fast. Let's slow it down and do it properly. <sighs> Let's get right into the unboxing. So everything that's in the box is fairly standard, but um, what I'll do is I'll go in more detail and explain every single item in the box, but um, this camera looks amazing. So what's included in the box is actually the manual that you know you get in with most products. But um, this manual seems really useful as it has like imagery to show what key functions are. So it's definitely worth, you know, reading through and obviously use it for troubleshooting if you run into issues with your um, camera itself. But yeah, it's um, really thick. The next item that's um, included in the box is the actual battery charger itself, which is quite common actually to get in your box, but um, you know, it's just a plastic chassis and um, just a cable that goes with it. The next item in the box is um, the Canon um, branded neck strap that connects to the camera itself. It's quite long actually. Um, and I will definitely be using this because I definitely don't want to drop my camera. And the next item that's included in the box is a 140 milliamp hour um, battery, which um, is quite standard with most Canon products. But yeah, pretty cool. And the next item is an EFM lens, the 15 to 45 mil, and this feels so lightweight. Um, it does feel a bit plasticky, but um, you know, it does feel really nice in the hand and it's really nice and compact actually. 
um, and it's got the lens cover, you know, it looks really nice and clean. Um, you've got the cap on the back as well for the piece that connects to the camera. Um, I will be actually um, upgrading this to a Nifty 50, which I'll be doing an unboxing of soon. But um, this is really nice to have um, in the box. It's, it's got image stabilization as well, so that's quite nice. And the final item is the actual Canon M6 Mark II camera. So um, it looks absolutely amazing. It's really lightweight. Um, and I just love the size itself. The grip is really nice as well. Feels good in the hand. I could, it would have been nice if it was a bit more deeper the grip, but it's really nice and compact because it's really meant for photography and vlogging really. But um, this is really nice. Um, so you've got, if I take this off, should be able to see inside of the camera. It's quite nice. Um, and that nicely protects it. And then on the side, what you've then got is a few functions. So you've got the actual camera flash itself. And that's quite nice actually, because you can actually direct the light upwards by bending it backwards. We can take in a photo or potentially point it forward. But I love, love how like springy it is. It's really nice actually. Um, and then on the, on the side, you also have the mic jack. So let's open this up. So you've got kind of the camera mic itself. You've also got a trigger, so a camera trick. So say potentially you um, want to plug an external trigger into this. This will allow you to take photos from a distance or potentially um, a trigger that you know reacts to potentially um, maybe ultraviolet light or something that will cause the camera to take a photo at key moments. So that's quite useful. On the rear itself, you've also got the bendable screen. So that can turn 90 degrees um, up. And um, the nice thing is that is that it's really nice when you're vlogging potentially, so you can actually see what you're recording. The only downside is that it does potentially block um, another mounting point at the top. Um, so you might have to go with like a small rig mount on the side potentially to allow you to maybe put a microphone or potentially any other accessory that you want to add to your camera. Um, if you do buy the separate um, viewfinder, um, it will go on the top, which will block this as well. So, you know, it does make it really impractical. But um, for me personally, because I use it for vlogging or when I'm doing my YouTube videos, um, I think having the, the actual screen come up is actually quite nice, actually. Um, and that just folds back down. And you can also open it in different angles as well, which is quite nice. So um, I quite like that as well. Um, there's loads of different dials, which is quite nice. Um, and it just, the dials just feel really nice. So you can hear that, it just clicks and it just feels really good. And I love this front facing one as well. That looks really nice. Um, got this protection cover up on the top for the actual connection point, um, which is quite nice. You've got more buttons on the side here. Um, on the other side, um, this is actually quite nice actually. So you've got um, a USB um, point as well, and you've also got a, a mini HDMI connection as well, which is really nice. And it is actually a clean HDMI um, out actually, which is really nice because then if you potentially are doing um, live streams or your um, live vlogging potentially, anything that will allow you to um, just stream, this is great for it because you won't see any overlays um, when you're streaming. Um, and which actually helps you get across um, the 30 minute um, video limit that you actually have on these cameras. Um, so it's a really nice feature to have. And on the bottom, you then have where the batteries go into and where your single SD card goes into, which is quite nice. But um, so far, I love it. I love, I went for that, went out of my way to get the one that actually has a silver trim to it. It's got this really nice um, rubbery feel as well. It's a black rubber and then you've got silver all the way around, which is really nice, which uh, matches my previous camera that I used for kind of vlogging and recording. But um, I really love this. This is really nice. Um, but yeah, great. 
So the main reason I actually got this camera was um, I was motivated to do amazing time lapse of my 3D printers. Um, and I found this because I know it's got a really good time lapse function. Um, but then I was, you know, looking at the M50 and other cameras. And why I ended up going for this camera in the end was that it can do 4K, it's got eye detection and um, it can focus in 4K. There's barely even a crop when it records in 4K. When you compare it to the M50, um, the M50 has a crop and it can't focus um, really well in actual 4K. Um, so I just said, okay, I'm not going to go for that. Um, I wanted to future proof um, my YouTube videos so that I can record in 4K and this does it. Also, it's got an amazing time lapse function and the fact that um, I just love the way it looks. Um, the only downside is that, you know, there is a limited amount of lenses that you can use with this. Um, but I have got potentially a speed booster, which I'll use to kind of give me access to the EF um, mount range. Um, the last thing that actually, you know, sold it for me was um, actually it having a trigger um, button and also a clean HDMI out um, so I can get over the 30 minute limit on this camera. Um, and the reason why the trigger is important is because I actually have bought a, I've got a resin 3D printer and that resin 3D printer works with UV light. So I've actually got a trigger button that can actually um, connect to my camera and as um, the UV light goes off in the 3D resin printer when it's printing each layer, it will then take a picture, which is really useful for um, the type of photography and videography that I want to do for my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below on any type of videos that you want me to do in regards to the Canon M6 Mark II. Um, and it's an amazing camera. If you're starting YouTube, it's definitely worth actually saving up and investing to get this camera. Um, and yes, they're going for quite a high price out there, but if you end up getting a M50, you're kind of limited at that 1080p, which is, you know, it's all that you need for, you know, recording YouTube videos. But um, for me, I just wanted that future proof of being able to record 4K and buying one device that can do that for the next 10 years, basically. So um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.